headed dinosaur. These plant eaters with curiously thick skulls roamed Montana 65 million years ago. The scientists are about to discover more bizarre transformations in other dinosaurs. Pachycephalosaurus had a huge thick dome and bony knobs around its skull. While its relative Stigimoloch had a smaller dome, its elaborate head spikes look so dragon-like, they name it Dracorex Hogwartsia. After the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry in the Harry Potter book. Horner wonders if the three animals are not separate species, but the same dinosaur at different ages. This huge dome of the roof of the brain case. When Goodwin first hears Horner's idea, he's skeptical. There's one huge problem. Alice has these big spikes on the back of its head. Stigimoloch has huge ones, but Pachycephalosaurus has just little bumps. Losing six-inch spikes seems impossible. To Horner's colleagues, his theory comes as a shock. Could three different-looking species be one? A lot of people aren't too happy about it. Juvenile dome-headed dinosaurs usually have two bones in the front of their domes that fuse together when they become adults. And the evidence that the young dinosaurs actually lost. You can grow a dome really quick. You can grow spikes really quick. You can reduce spikes. It appears that in a case of mistaken identity, Three bone-headed species are really just one. But why did young and old dinosaurs look so different? The mystery has deepened. If dome heads and horns were birds and dinosaurs, to finally solve the mystery of why dinosaurs looked so different at each stage of life, and dome heads weren't for budding, what were they for? A spiky head and lack of a dome in a young Pachycephalosaurus signaled its young age. Larger spikes identified the teenagers. And adults lost their spikes and sprouted huge domes, not for butting, but to attract mates. That their looks could change so dramatically place, we're gaining a new understanding of dinosaur lives. We may reduce the number of species worldwide by as much as a third. Once we actually start analyzing them in this way, I think we're...